News just coming in. This has uh, got to do with a shocking bomb threat and an email now has been accessed. The threat mail mentions Mujahideen and Kafirs. The threat mail says, you are the enemies of Allah. It says, we'll blow up your temples, your idols. It also says, explosives in school ground. This is an email that has been accessed by India Today. Sagai Raj has more details on that. Sagai, any information on who really has sent this email? And talk to us a little more about the contents of it. There are mails sent from different email IDs. If you notice, one email was sent from kartijis at deeble.com and the other one is from kartijis at topmail.com and uh, the other email was sent uh, a similar ID uh, to different schools uh, uh, saying that uh, there are mujahideens and it is a threatening email to non-believers. Whoever believes in Allah, they will be saved, but the non-believers will be killed just like they have done. Uh, on 26 11 a uh, uh, few years back and similar kind of situation will again arise in bengaluru just like uh, r ashok has mentioned that uh, bombay uh, thing will be replicated in bengaluru and they are threatening uh, uh, the hinduists and people who ever uh, uh, follows buddhism religion they have clearly mentioned that people believe in temple people believe in buddha and his ideologies and who don't believe in allah uh, should uh, be killed and this particular th threat mail has been sent to almost 15 schools across the city of Bengaluru, leaving the parents panic and they are all rushing to the school and uh, uh, taking their uh, children back to the, their residence. In fact, DK Shukumar has also spoken about this because there was a school opposite his resident. He, he also visited the school and uh, uh, a similar kind of hoax uh, email had received last year and this time also they have received but police have uh, uh, taken cognizance of it. They have alerted the police uh, have reached out all the schools and DK Shukumar has also assured that the police will take necessary action and arrest the people as soon as possible. And remember last time it was a hoax call but this time they, they are not leaving any stone unturned. There are bombs caught in every single school and the police are on alert and investigating further what is the intention between behind this particular ma mail and who are the people who have sent these mails. Alright, be with us. Sir. I'm just going to come back to you in a moment from now. We have that email that you see on your screens right now. Let's take our viewers through the details of what it really says. First of all, sent in by this email ID at 9.06 this morning. Today, this morning, this email was sent essentially. It says, important, there are explosive devices on the school grounds, is what it reads. On the 26th of November, martyrs in the way of Allah killed hundreds of idolaters. It is truly powerful to hold a knife over tens of millions of thin gulfs of kafirs. He falls and falls, is what it reads. Hundreds of Mujahideen flooded the war area in anticipation of martyrdom in the way of Allah. You are the enemies of Allah. We will kill you and your children, is what this threat email that has been sent to 15 schools says. You have a choice to become our slaves or to accept the true religion of Allah. Temples, your idols, from Buddha to infinity, they will fly apart from our explosions, is what this threat email essentially reads. Bismillah, we will spread the true religion of Allah to the whole world, to the whole of India. And we sent predators at you. Already flying to immerse yourself in the Taj, Bismillah, tomorrow it will become the capital and thousands of Zionists all over the world dead. Convert to Islam or die under the weight of the sword of Islam is what this email says. When you meet with non-believers, you chop off their heads, chop off their heads and chop off all their fingers. Fight all the polytheists just as they fight all of you. Allahu Akbar. That's a threat email that has been sent, like Sagai was telling us, to 15 schools. Getting us more details on that story is Sagai who continues, in fact, to be with us. Sagai has sensed from you essentially on what the police is now saying or thinking about this email. I mean, who really A, could be behind it? Uh, is it a group of people? Is it one individual? What more details have you picked up just yet? So these are subject to investigation and if you notice the police have taken cognizance of uh, these emails and uh, they have been deployed in and around all the schools uh, schools which have received this and schools which have not received uh, uh, these emails or have also been alerted and security has been uh, deployed because remember that uh, probably one or two calls might be a hoax call or one or two emails might be a hoax email but uh, end of the day you cannot leave leave or ignore uh, these kind of emails the 
police have taken cognizance and uh, all the bomb squads in almost all the schools to check uh, uh, the, 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 the intensity of uh, the mail which has been sent by the people. Sagay, so, okay, as far as the parents are con concerned, you know, give us a sense of the kind of communication also that has gone out to many of these parents. We understand that they read schools, in fact, to pick up their children. What is it that you're picking up? See, the, uh, it is quite unfortunate uh, this particular uh, news has got viral and p parents are quite worried. There are uh, text messages, there are uh, emails which has been sent by all the schools to the parents not to worry about this, not to panic because the police are already at the schools and taken cognizance of all those things and they have said that they are taking care of their children. But still, parents are panicked and they have reached out to the schools and the management requesting them to allow to take their children back to their respective places and so far the schools have allowed them and many schools have already been shut down and in many other places where the police have reached out and they are checking in all the school grounds and all the places if there are any kind of suspicious material are, are being planted in these schools. Alright, we're waiting for more details to emerge but this is a bomb threat to 15 Bengaluru schools. So guy, if you could take us to the details of which are these schools, the locations of where are they located? See, if you notice, one of the schools opposite to DK Shukumar resident, that is Neve uh, Play School, and the other schools are National Public School, Carmel School, and uh, uh, international schools across the city, and uh, schools in Baspeshan Nagar, one of the schools in Elanka. So there are close to 15 to 16 schools which have received uh, these mails early morning, as early as 6, uh, 3 a.m. in the morning, and uh, uh, the, the, the school management have immediately alerted the police and uh, requested them to give enough security and all also send a required bomb squad to go ahead and check and verify if these emails are genuine or these are hoax. As of now, the police squad as well as the bomb squad are in all the schools checking the uh, checking all uh, nook and corner of the schools to find out if there is any kind of suspicious uh, things are uh, found in th these schools. All right, I'm going to in fact thank you for the moment, Sagai, getting us all of those details from Bengaluru, where that bomb threat was sent to 15 schools. In this city, investigations are on on your screens right now. You see the email that has been sent uh, by the person uh, to many of these schools, about 15 of them, saying that there are uh, bombs on the playground is what that email essentially reads and saying that everybody is going to be killed, including your children and non-believers will have to pay is what it essentially reads.